Safety first, now I'm in the gym. We've also the stuff for the hands. That was here before the gym share. Welcome back to, I think we call it Chateau de Gaines. Chateau de Gaines, avant, before. Um, all the kit is now in, so I'll run you through it. Two 25 kgs, two 10 kgs, two 2.5s, two 5 kgs, uh, four 15. And behind there is a 10 kg medicine ball. I've also got a three and a five, both in the cup. No, they're at home. Um, we've got a 20 kg Olympic bar, squat racks, bench, and some bands and some stuff. New stuff I'm thinking of buying is, I don't have dumbbells, but I've seen a website that sells kind of the bars as dumbbells, like a mini barbell, for example. So I can put the weights on each side, put the clips on, that way I'm not spending, God knows how much it is. It's like, for like 225s, it's like 56, 60 euros. Like, I'm, I'm not paying. So I'm gonna do that. I also want a hex bar, you know, those kind of ones like that, but without the front or the back, like without one side. So it's an open hex bar. I really want one of them. Um, found websites, they're not too expensive. Okay, it's like 136 euros, 156, which is not too bad. And for those barbell, um, dumbbell kind of bath, you see, you know, you just got the bar and then you add these on. It's simple, like this. So there we go. Uh, I've left it quite late today. I was sorting a lot of stuff out that's going right now in terms of moving apartment. Kind of got thrown on me last minute, but hey, I did ask for a new apartment. Wouldn't have minded some pre confirmation, but gives me a few days I've got to move out I want to get the gym stuff in here first as you saw because they kicked me out the parking I'm talking a lot I'm very sorry bang out 45 minute session here straight onto the field sprints kicking done home pack my life up and then hopefully we're gonna start the moving process tomorrow evening as I'm working probably won't have time I finish at one so I'm gonna start moving the small stuff and then on Wednesday move the big stuff uh, we're gonna pass by the apartment tonight after just to give you a quick show so there we go. In a whole nother, whole nother zone. Yeah. Look, look, hey, I'm in a whole nother energy zone. I drop heat, but they sleep on it like memory foam. I touch down and celebrate like I ain't been here before. Take it to the top and make sure that my can go, uh, spit fat, y'all know Every time I drop yeah. folks, swear they try to keep us out the game But the lock broke, down for your shorty like I'm jumping off the top rope And the flow make them go, whoa, I'm pop smoke I shake the room every time I'm making moves Making tunes, chasing cash, you was chasing views Grew up on that north side where they take you full Every time I come up with a flow, but I make the news All these niggas claiming that they goats must be April Fools And your shorty put up to the show like she ain't with you she, she just wanna be around me more She just want the DR, some brand new Dior Ricky Bobby, you ain't first, you in last place It don't make no sense if you on back chase Need it now, everything fast paced Sweet victory, it never leave a bad taste Sweet victory and never leave a bad taste. Explain what I've done so far. So exercise one is a kind of power plyometric kind of stuff. Um, I know plyometrics is usually the jumping stuff, but we've got the push onto the boxes, so working our power, handoffs, you know, all that kind of stuff. I put that first because I like to get the power stuff out of the way first. Saying that I'm about to do some power now, but it's a pull. Anyway, I digress. Um, because that first exercise it's with no weight, I can put 100% into it. So output is gonna be 100% normally. Um, I won't be tired from doing any other set exercises, so I won't be fatigued. So there you go, that's the reason. Second, straight to the strength exercise, the heavy exercise of the session. Um, there I did three sets of, I wanted to go for five, but I was struggling on the fourth and without a spotter, I don't wanna risk pushing it and I don't need to go to failure here. So um, again, I don't know, uh, that was only 100 kg. Not really sure what's gone on over the last few years. I mean, three years ago, I was doing 120 for five, and since then, it's kind of just slowly gone down. Not sure why. Not that pushing numbers means anything. Like, if my bench is good, that means I'm gonna play good rugby. It doesn't mean anything. So don't be like, how much do you bench and all those bro questions and shit. You know, but it's, I'm just saying it's kind of gone down. Don't know why. I should probably look into my training a bit more, which I have, but you know, it is what it is. I'll look into it. Anyway, 
Um, this exercise, I'm now doing another power movement, but a pulling exercise. Um, get that done. So we've got the starting warm up kind of plyo section, strength section, power section, and then final accessory work will be three exercises normally to help with these type of movements or injury prevention stuff. So I might do work my neck, uh, my shoulders, um, maybe some lower back work, uh, throw some abs in. I'm gonna start throwing abs at the start of my workout now. Um, so it's more activation kind of work. And so when it comes to the end, I'm quite tired and I just lay it off. So yeah, that's the explanation of this session. Um, I've just changed to the next phase. So um, I'm kind of in season now, changed up a few exercises, a few movements, just to keep the progression going and changing it up for myself. Um, and there you go, that's the explanation. If you have any questions, hit me up down below. And yeah, so let's get onto it. Feel like sweet victory and never leave a bad taste. I'm talking sweet like lemonade and champagne. Start the wave and I let them join the campaign. How I do it, I did it my way. I did it independent, so I did it like Jay. Yeah, that mean I got the whole nation rocking. From a dream to a stream to a bank deposit yeah. I turn the fling to a queen if you think about it I put the cash on the table, she just came to count it Yeah, I got a bounce if I ain't benefiting Walking with the faith, I've been believing when niggas did it You know the game, niggas switch up on you any minute Then hit you up like it's been a minute I seen that movie a hundred times like paid in four They gon' write the script in their favor to watch you play the fool I ain't tripping, I'm just chilling with a plate of fool Talking shake and bake I'ma make it zoom Ricky Bobby ain't first, you in last place It don't make no sense if you on back chase Need it now, everything fast paced Sweet victory, it never leave a bad taste Yeah Feel like sweet victory, it never leave a bad taste 12 Done Let's get out of here So, gonna get the balls out on a bit. Uh, I left them out of thing there. I'm gonna have to ask if I can get them out. Anyway, what we're gonna do is sprints. So, I took a few weeks off from sprints, so I always kind of have the same comeback to, like, you know, the kind of, I'd have to say, the default kind of sessions to get me back into it, because there's nothing too crazy. It's the basic, just, you know. You know what I'm trying to say. Let's go. Um, what I'm going to do is for sprints, I'll do um, three sets of 10 meters, no, four sets of 10 meters, three sets of 20 meters, and two sets of 30 meters. Last week, I did one off, one minus each one. So I did three 10, two 20, and one 30. And what I do is I create in game scenarios. I'll, I'll show you. So, like, for the 30 meter one, I might do a kick over the top or catch it for a breakthrough and then I get the full acceleration. Um, last week for the 20 meters, I did is if I was defensively sliding, there was a kick over top and I turned and ran. Um, for the 10 meters, I caught the ball myself, did a step and broke through. Uh, you know, just give yourself different game scenarios because it's very specific as opposed to just lining up on the line, three point stance, running straight it's not sometimes it, you can do that for example when you're on your in your 22 or even if you're on the line you might get in the three-point stance if I'm not if I'm not correct if I'm correct if I'm not correct pretty sure that's illegal now when you're on your try line you can't put your hand on the floor anymore pretty sure if anyone knows that do let me know but I'm 95% sure that is a rule so and then quickly, just before I begin, righto, want to get yourself some. They got, I've got their t-shirt on as well. Stuff is really comfy. Uh, I've got their jumper, which I'm going to put on because this one's really thick and it's quite hot. Well, it's warm. Anyway, after I do the sprints, um, I'm going to get to some kicking, start with outer hand stuff. I'm talking a lot, but quick tip when you're doing kicking training, never do one type of kick. Always do different types of kicks. Don't just do kicking at goal. Don't just do one type of outhand kicking. So for example, what I do is I do my kind of, what David already taught me, I go through my technique stuff. So I get myself in the five, I go through shunts, 
uh, drop kicks, um, spirals, um, what did I say? Drop kicks, spirals, and normal kicks, just out of hand, just like that, in the five meter. Um, then I'll go to some drop kicks. I'll do two sets of five. Um, and then um, I'll go to maybe at the T work, straight in front of the post, or trying to hit a post, or some sort of exercise that I have. After that, I will then, beautiful bit of sand. After that, I will then go to out of hand kicking, looking for touch, looking for distance, focusing on my technique. Then I'll come back to a final exercise, kicking at goal, and there you go. Because it all ties in sometimes, you know, with a drop kick, kicking through the ball, running through that ball, can help you link to kicking at goal. And if you're having a shit time kicking a goal, changing it up like an in-game scenario, you're not just gonna be kicking at goal the whole game. You're gonna have this kick, that kick, grubber kick, kick to the corner. So it's good to practice and change it all up. It gets you out of that shit mode. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so today you've got nothing to do. Get yourself to the park, get some passing drills done. Got a rhino comet ball, got three of these, and got a rhino storm ball. This is a weighted ball, this is a normal ball. Gonna give you some tips for passing and some training drills you can do to improve your game. Let's go. Okay, exercise number one. Gonna get the storm ball, stand roughly about two or three meters or two meters away from the padded post, anything that's padded or something that won't rebound too much. We're gonna throw the ball three times, the ball starts at the hip, hands finish through, three passes with the heavy ball, three passes with the normal ball, focusing on our technique. Then I'm gonna come further away. Technique first. If we throw the ball and our hands go anywhere, we've got good power, but without good technique, that ball is gonna go anywhere. So, technique first, power second. Here's a tip. When you're making the pass, breathe out. So I've got the ball on my hip. I'm breathing out. It helps the control of the pass. Hands through both of the target. Also, if you want to, and you have the storm ball, the weighted ball, if you want to put that in as your first pass, put it in great stuff. You'll be working the power of your pass and then contrast with the lighter balls. Give it a go. Okay, exercise number three. Again, if you want to use the storm ball, the weighted ball for your first pass, be my guest, be some great work. What we're gonna do now, so exercise one, we started on our knees, just working on the technique. Exercise two, we got ourselves in a stance as if we're about to catch the ball and pass it or as if we're moving. Now we're gonna progress into stepping into that pass and finishing, continue moving forward. In a game, we don't wanna catch the ball, have to run and do this. And we don't wanna catch the ball and stop. We wanna catch the ball, step, make that pass, continue moving forward, continue with the play. You might have an inside ball, you can touch get on two, get to the ruck, and you want your momentum to all keep going, okay? So there you go. We'll get to it. everything we've learned into the final exercise and so now we're running and making the pass another last tip from me fingertips the ball should always be on your fingertips we should never be palming that ball that way we've got a nice pass and we're not losing power losing anything losing control always in the fingertips there should always be a little gap 
there. Okay, so those are the four exercises I'm gonna give you today. Starting off working our technique just on the knees, moving to in the stance, then walking and then running. 10 to 15 minutes is all it takes. Throw it in the start of your session, get it done, and then get on with whatever you want. Before training, rock up 20 minutes before, get the passing in, bring a friend, go to the park. No reason why you can't do it, minimum three times a week. Give it a try, let me know how you get on. So as promised, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the new place. To start with, let's be in front door. That's the go. There's two ways in. When we come in, we have this pointless second door because there's nothing there. So we go through. Storage under there, upstairs. Like I said, main door, this is pointless. And then we come to the front door, we come inside. Turn this light on. This is the other front door, which I'll show you actually. You can see down here, there's another entry down there. There's a neighbor upstairs, and here's the inside of my house. So we shut that door. This is the first front door, this is the second door. Then we go through here. So in here, toilet. In here, we have my shower. This thing, boiler, washing machine down here, bit of storage. We keep walking. I would turn the camera off, but it's quite zoomed in. This, 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 this. this is going to be my bedroom. Nice and big. The ceilings are very tall, so it makes the room much bigger. Uh, this is a blessing in disguise. The storage makes things so much easier. So this is a really big room. And then you've got the window out there, which is opposite is just more houses, and it's a small street. So uh, bedroom number two, aka potentially the gym. Voila. So there you go. Standard room. And outside, we go up the street, literally right in the centre. So I currently live all the way down there. So it has the wooden things that shirt, but I'm going to buy the thing, you know, just to keep the sunlight coming through. Then we go through to the kitchen slash lounge. You got kitchen set up, nice and brand new. Um, there you go. Uh, I need an oven. I already have an oven, but this one is the one that's fitting. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy one of those because it's very particular and every house has it. So I might just put the oven here and then use the hob. But and that have that as like the coffee station. And this is all really cool. And then here is the living room. I'm not sure where the sofa's gonna go. Because my sofa is an L shape on the right side. So it doesn't really fit perfectly with this, um, which is annoying. I might sell my table with six chairs that I have and make a, buy a smaller one, I'm not sure. Or unless I'm in the other room, the dining room, but I don't have any guests for a dinner table, so I'm probably gonna sell that. And again, we got, this lets us out. To the outside, I'm all the way down there, so I've got to move all the way down there. Too. So there we go, it's pretty awesome, very happy with the place. Cost an hour leg because we're down in the south and we're not even at the price. Storage. Um, there we go. Hopefully, we're going to get this place filled out for Wednesday, Thursday. Also, tomorrow, Wednesday. But there we go. Welcome to my new humble abode.